this moment may seem effortless, but the journey to get here was long and hard. Dustin is paralyzed from the chest down. Six and a half years ago, his work van rolled. He wasn't wearing his seatbelt and flew out the window. He woke to a life of no's and can'ts, no to normalcy. Get up out of bed and walk to the bathroom. I mean, just so many things that your life has changed forever. No to dreams that might never come true. Then he met Sydney on an app. Tinder. <laughs> Let's yeah. swipe right, Absolutely. just like they did. Well, I was like, that's a cute girl, I swiped right on her. Sparks flew for Sydney too, but she didn't yet know his He's story. Like, so you know how I'm in a wheelchair when we first spoke on the phone and I was like, no, but tell me more. On their first date, duty called. Dustin uses a catheter to relieve himself into a bag. When she dropped me off, I got out of the car and she took off and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I left a bag of pee in the car, so yeah. <laughs> that was our first date. It's experiences like these that forced them to cut through the shallowness. But those are things that took us to a whole other level. Dustin learned what Sydney was made of. I mean, there's nothing we can't do. We just do it differently. And they began to fall in love. And he lightens up any room you go into. So it's just one of those things that it, it never faced me, ever. You just know that this person is meant to be in your life. So this is the, the stimulator remote. Dustin has an epidural okay. stimulator, a box on his abdomen that releases electrical charges to the nerves on his spinal cord. He turns okay. it on with a remote. So how many guys you know that can turn themselves on? <laughs> Every day he stands as therapy to improve his bone density, blood flow, and circulation. Learning to stand was tough and took practice. Every go, a precarious workout. This was the first time he would use it for a monumental purpose. While practicing standing in the groom's room. My father-in-law says, hey, are you gonna pull your pants up? Because my pants had fell down. I was like, gosh dang, if this happens during the wedding, I'm just gonna freak. The preacher loaned him his belt and Dustin cinched it tight. Right, here it goes. Sydney says she already knows Dustin is a man of stature. Just turn myself on. I love him regardless. As they say their vows, there are no guarantees. His abdominal muscles don't work, and since he has no feeling, by the time he could tell his legs have given out, it would be too late. He has no control of his hips. If she lets go, he'll fall backwards. So that's the moment. That's yeah. the moment. Right there. It takes your breath away. Because <laughs> I'm looking into his eyes. Mind you, that's the first time. Like, he's never hugged me or kissed me while standing, so to see him and then stand up and he's taller than me and I'm looking up at him. That's just one step closer to being where we want to be in our lives as far as getting out of a wheelchair. A key element makes it easy. When you love someone, you do anything for them. No matter what the future holds, they know that when life gives you no's and can'ts, the dreams come true. Yeah, for sure. You answer with, I do. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News.